Hi friends, Brooke here, and I wanted to take the opportunity today to tell you about the BB Bash, which is my free event coming up this next week. It's going to be running live from March 25th through the 31st, and I hope you'll think about joining us in on the fun. So the inspiration for the bash came out of having the winter blues. I tend to get less creative feeling in the winter and get a little bit stale in my creative art practice. And so I wanted something that's going to kind of jumpstart us into spring, get us excited to get into our art studio, sit down at our art tables and have some playtime. So there'll be seven days worth of simple prompts. And along with those prompts, I am sharing a short video tutorial each day under 15 minutes, which I think is just the perfect length to totally get inspired, learn a new, new technique, but then go and actually maybe put it to use. So go down into your studio and play. Long tutorials, more in depth are great and there's a place for them. But this week is just meant to be quick bite-sized inspiration to get you inspired and get you rolling. So I hope that you'll join. The information to join is down below. And as I said, it starts on March 25th, 2024. You can enroll until April 6th and the videos will be available until April 6th to watch. So you'll want to make sure to get in on that and watch, take full advantage of those free videos. Now, all of this is leading up to my once a year annual BB Art Journals Masterclass. I've been talking about this on social media, in my email, all of those good things for quite some time now because I want you guys to get hyped and get excited. I am so excited and ready for the 2024 session to begin and I hope that you'll consider joining. So if you're new and you don't know what the BB Art Journals Masterclass is, is, don't fret. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So the doors open for enrollment on March 29th and they'll be open until April 6th. So just a short time to get yourself registered and get in on the class. We'll be starting everything off with a nice big welcome bash on April 14th and that's when the class really starts. All of the content will be available on the 14th and and this will be a 12 week adventure that we're taking together. Now you'll have access to the content forever, but the 12 weeks is when we're really going to be focusing in on the community aspect and working together. So there's a couple different ways that you can consume this class. And I wanted to do it a couple different ways on purpose because everybody learns differently. And I think one of the things that is so hard about school sometimes is when you learn a little bit different than somebody else. You feel like you're behind or not catching on to things as fast. And I don't want anybody to feel like that during this class. I set it out in a couple different ways. Sometimes I love to just get into a class and binge watch the content and get totally inspired, watch everything and then go and create. Now there's a lot of videos in this class, so it would take a while to binge it all, but you totally can. All of the videos will be available once class starts on April 14th. But if you're looking for a more community driven experience and you want to really connect with others, connect with me and get feedback as you go, we're going to be laying things out over 12 weeks. So there are nine different modules that we're going to deep dive into and I've laid them out so that they all build on each other and in the end it accumulates into a cohesive, stunning, show-stopping journal that is going to be 100% you in your artistic voice and in your style. And it's going to be something that you're going to be really proud to show off to everybody that comes. It may be your new favorite coffee table decor piece. If you're like me, you get so excited when you finish a journal that you kind of carry it around room to room for a little while. So I want you guys to feel that excitement. So let me talk a little bit about what's actually inside this class. 
What are you going to learn and how are you going to feel after you take it? So module one, let's just go module by module. Module one, we get into hand dyeing fabric and mark making fabric. And this is so fun because you can use it in your journal covers, which is module two. And you'll also be using it inside your journal as well or any other thing that you want. One of the great things that I personally love about this class is you can take each module, which has enough content to be a class all on its own and use it in your other artwork as well. It doesn't just fit in for a BB journal. It fits in no matter what you're doing in the mixed media realm. And mixed media covers so many things. So I know that you'll have a lot of uses for this, not just the BB journal. Although having the BB journal would be enough, but I want you to be able to take the content and use it all of the techniques for everything that you do on a daily basis when it comes to art. Okay, so that's module one, fabric dyeing and um, mark making on fabric. Module two is the journal covers. We do fabric collage to put our covers together. And then module three goes into stitching, intuitive stitching. I'll teach you all of my secrets behind my hand stitch gorgeous covers. And it's going to be a piece of artwork all on its own. You'll love this process. Um, sometimes people go about making the covers of their journal at the very last step. They make the pages first and that's totally up to you. Feel free to do it that way. My reasoning behind putting it so early on in the 12 weeks is so that you have the rest of the 12 weeks to hand stitch on it if you want. Um, it doesn't have to be something during that week that you're going driving yourself crazy to get done. Slow stitching is meant to be a slow meaningful practice that's really good for you and you'll feel better after doing it and so I don't want you to rush through that so that's why I put it on as early as I do if for some reason you don't like hand stitching I do urge you to give it a try but I know for some it hurts their fingers it hurts their hands and so machine stitching is another great option and I'm going to teach you intuitive stitching for the sewing machine as well so that is really fun module four we dive into to papers and we're actually going to spend a couple weeks here. Honestly, we could spend six or 12 weeks all on papers. They're so much fun to make. I'll be showing you at least eight different kinds of paper tutorials and how to make them. Uh, two of my favorites are definitely the messy, inky, drippy papers and the master sheets. Those are probably the most unique to me. And so I want to show you how time after time I get great results every time I sit down. Um, it's going to be a little bit different every time I go to create, but my voice and my style is going to show through and I'm going to get results that I can be happy with. And I want to teach you those tools as well so that you're not frustrated when you sit down. Like you you're going to feel accomplished when you sit down to create. Okay, so after the papers, we finally have the ingredients to start making our interactive elements and our signatures. So module five is interactive elements. And this is something that I've honed in on over the years. And I'm going to teach you step by step, break it down to making unique innards for your journal. So these are all of the flip outs, the envelopes, the pockets, and really so much more. They're techniques that um, usually people try to do once the journal is already bound. I'm going to show you an innovative method where we're actually using our sewing machine as our main tool to be putting these pages together. And I think you're going to find it really interesting how I do that. And it's really going to change the way that you view journal making forever into the future. So that's a fun thing to look forward to. Okay, so then we go into signatures, which is module six, and we're going to be putting all of those pages together, ordering our pages in a nice way, and getting ready for module seven, which is binding. We're binding all of those goodness together. We're putting it into our journal cover, and finally, this thing is coming to life. Our journal is getting chunky, and we're loving it, and all of these other weeks that kind of feel like separated from each other are coming together 
together in a cohesive unit. This is such a fun week because we actually get the structure of our journal together and we can flip through it and you'll start wanting to carry it around probably at this point. You're so excited. Module eight is the closures and that's going to be how you tie your journal up, wrap it. There's a ton of different ways that you can do this and so I'll show you a few of those. I really take this journal by journal and decide based on what the cover looks like, what the insides look like, how we want that closure to look. Last up, but definitely not least, is module nine, embellishments. We'll be making thread baubles and fabric beads, hand covered stitched buttons, all of those goodies that go into setting your journal over the top. It's going to be that tactile element that we're adding on that makes people want to rub their hands over it and touch it. This is going to be the showstopper element that we add onto it. One of the best things about this class is bridging the gap between in-person and online experiences, classes. I love an in-person class. If I could, I'd go to one every week, every month, and totally inundate myself with that teacher style and with the people that take the class. But if you're like me around here, I don't have a lot of those opportunities. But one of the things that's missing about a lot of online classes is often you're left to buy it and you kind of forget about it and you're left to self-teach and figure it out on your own. There's not really that community aspect that you feel when you're sitting at the table with other artists that you're meeting. And so we're bringing in some of those elements to this online class. We have a great positive community that has already been cultivated with the other rounds of the BBR Journal Masterclass. There is a private group forum where we can all share our artwork, ask questions, get feedback, get encouragement. These are going to be your new art BFFs and I cannot not wait for you to meet everybody. And the other big thing that I do that I've not seen other teachers do is I give you personal feedback on your artwork. Every student that wants it, I'm going to give you personal feedback. The biggest module that this comes into play is the journal covers and the intuitive stitching. I actually do a photo mock-up where you take a photo, a flat lay photo of your journal cover, and I'll actually go in and mark it up and and give you my best tips and tricks of how I would then go and stitch that journal cover, how I would arrange those fabric pieces in the fabric collage, um, all of those good things. And not only will you learn by your photo mock-up, you'll learn by all the other students as well. I've had students in the past that like to save all of those for future inspiration. And so this is a really fun thing that we can do to bring us all closer together. Another way that we're bridging that gap is each week there'll be live office hours. Office hours are where you can come ask me any and all questions and I'll be there personally answering them. If some Something needs clarification, I'll do a little art demo, things like that. Lastly, with bridging that gap, we're going to have co-create sessions where we can come and play and just be with one another, talk and have some fun and get inspired again by everybody else. I want you to leave this class feeling more confident and accomplished as an artist than you ever have before. How often do you go down and sit at your art studio, art table and you get a little frustrated. You're overwhelmed. There's so many possibilities and you don't know what to do and you kind of just end up leaving or you're frustrated the whole time. I'm going to help you take those feelings away and turn them into something positive. I'll help you gain that focus and the clarity of what you'll want to work on each time you sit down. And the great thing is, is that you can bring them all together in a cohesive way in the end and build a BB journal. I hope this all speaks to you. Leave your questions down below. If you're thinking about joining, let's start talking and communicating. And I hope that I see you on for this journey. If it doesn't fit for you this time around, no worries. I still hope that you're part of the BB community and watch YouTube videos, things like that. Um, another great thing is there are payment plans available. I've made it so that you can 
choose anywhere from one payment in a lump sum all the way splitting to over six months and six payments. So I want this to work for you and I want to connect with you and create some beautiful, meaningful art together. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys soon for the BB Bash next week. Have a good one.